Welcome to the production order, routing scenario training topic. In order to take this course, you should first complete the bill of materials and the basic production process training topic. At the end of this topic, you will be able to create and manage production order with routing. OC Wood Trend Produce Wooden Furniture. For complex manufacturing, OC Wood Trend defined bill of materials with routing that includes sequenced stages and date dependencies. They want to start producing these bill of materials. In this scenario we examine the production process of a white cabinet bill of materials. There are four stages in the production process of the cabinet, cutting, sanding, painting, and assembly as shown in the image. This bill of materials is copied to the production order. This is a production order for the white cabinet bill of materials. As explained in the bill of materials topic, a bill of materials with routing consists of several stages where each stage groups a set of items and resources that are relevant for the stage. In the image we see two of the stages. Beneath each stage we can see the components related to that stage. This display can be adjusted from the context menu or from the go to menu at the top of the screen. In addition, production orders with routing allow optional automated calculation of date dependencies between the root stages. The system can automatically schedule the start and end dates of both item and resource components to more relevant dates. This will be further discussed in the next slides. When using production orders with routing, it is important to understand how the routing date calculation field and function works. This definition in the production order can affect the start date and end date of each row in the production order, as well as the resource capacity allocation in the row. Depending on the routing date calculation value, it may also affect the start date and due date in the header. Date scheduling is also relevant for item components because their row start date impacts the MRP. OC would trend manage resource capacity to make sure a given resource is available during production and to be able to plan production ahead. There are four methods of routing date calculation, on start date, on end date, start date forwards, and end date forwards. Let us examine them in the next slide. The start date and end date in the header are the time range for the consumption of the component in the production order. However, different calculation methods may set different start and end dates of the stages within this range. With methods, on start date and on end date, there are no date dependencies between stages in the order. The start date of all stages is defaulted from the start date of the header. The end date of all stages is defaulted from the due date of the header. With the on start date method, resources are allocated to the stage start date, and with the on end date method, resources are allocated to the end date of the stage. The other two methods are more sophisticated. With the start date forwards method the start date from the header is copied to the start date of the first stage. Then if there is not enough capacity to meet the planned quantity of the resource, the system continues to allocate resource capacity in the coming days until all planned capacity is fully allocated. The end date of this stage is the last day of capacity allocation. The next stage start date is the end date of the previous stage. When the last stage is reached, the end date is set to the header's due date. Note that capacity allocation is calculated from the beginning of the day. The end date backwards method works similarly, but starting from the end date of the last stage. The header's due date is copied to the end date of the last stage. Then if there is not enough capacity to meet the planned quantity of the resource, the system continues to allocate resource capacity for each day backwards until all planned capacity is allocated. The start date of this stage will be the last day of capacity allocation. The previous stage end date will be the start date of the last stage calculated. When reaching the first stage, the start date is set to the header's start date. Note that capacity allocation is calculated from the end of the day. Also note that with these two methods the production order will only consider a capacity type called, single run capacity. This type of capacity assumes that only one resource can be used at a time. To learn more about resource capacity, refer to the resource capacity training. Let us examine this scenario for the start date forwards and end date backwards methods. We examine the effect on start date and end date of a stage and on resource capacity allocation. In our scenario, the resource planned quantity in the stage equals 12. The available single run capacity is set to 4 in day 1, 6 in day 2, 4 in day 3, and 10 on day 4. When using the start date forwards routing date calculation, the system starts to allocate the available capacity to reach the capacity needed for this stage from the start date of the stage, day 1. To allocate 12 resource units, the system consumes the entire four units from day one, 
then another six from the day two, and lastly, another two of the four units available on day three. This also means that it takes two full days of the resource available time plus two out of four resource units which equals half a resource day. Therefore the required days equals 2.5 days. When using the end date backwards routing date calculation, the system starts to allocate from the end date of the stage, day 4. The system consumes the entire 10 units available on day 4, and another 2 out of the 4 available in day 3. With this method the required days equals 1.5 days. There are several calculation fields in the production order that provide information about times in production. This training covers a few of them. This is an illustration of a stage in our bill of materials, the painting stage. For each resource row there are calculated required days. The required days of the stage is the maximum required days value of all resource rows in the stage. We also learned about the waiting days field in the bill of materials training. This is a manually added value that reflects waiting times between stages. For the cabinet, after the painting stage is done, one waiting day is needed for the paint to dry. These waiting days are added to the required days and sum up to the total days value of 2.5. The resource production time is the planned resource quantity expressed in time, according to the time per resource unit field in the resource master data. In this case it is a total of 10 hours for the painting machine and 5 hours for the machine operator. To calculate the production time of a stage, the system simply takes the largest production time of all resource rows in the stage, in this case it is 10. It is important to understand the main difference between production time and required days values. For example, the production time in the row may represent the actual machining time of a resource whereas the required days is the total time that the resource has to be allocated to this task overall. In a production order with routing, manual changes made in the production order header or rows may require recalculation of row dates and resource capacity allocation. The system does not trigger this update automatically, but instead allows the user to decide whether to update the rows or not. To indicate to the user that an update is advised, the button Update Now Turns Red is shown in the image. At OC Wood Trend there is a need to recalculate stage dates when the production start date is postponed and the routing date calculation is start date forwards. Once the production manager changes the start date in the header of the production order, the Update Now button turns red. The production manager chooses the button and a system message appears asking the user for permission to update the rows date accordingly. A similar procedure happens when a certain resource is replaced with another resource. Since the new resource has a different production time and available capacity, the production manager chooses the red button to update stage start and end dates and the resource capacity allocation. Refer to the document. How to work with resources in production in SAP Business 19.3 to find the list of conditions that trigger the button to turn red. After a production order is released, the production manager in OC Wood Trend issues components to production one stage at a time. Issuing components from a production order with routing can be done per route stage. From the production order context menu, he chooses the option issue components which displays the issue components selection criteria window. From this window he can adjust the stages or components to issue. Remember that only manual issue items are available for issue. Here are some key points about production order with routing. A production order with routing is based on a BOM with routing and composed of stages. Each stage may contain several component rows and different production calculations at the stage level. The routing date calculation method can set date dependencies between the different stages and update the stages dates accordingly can set the resource capacity allocation according to the single run capacity defined for the resource. Manual changes made in the production order header or rows may raise the need to recalculate row dates and resource capacity allocation. When the system recognizes this scenario, the Update Now button turns red, alerting the user to choose the button and thus activate this update. You have completed the routing for production orders topic. Thank you for your time.